fine. But I'm very right, Bruce Jensen, thank you very much. Well, two Texas uh, doctors don't blame the president for not bragging about the health care law one bit. In fact, they don't like it so much. They have bothered from that now infamous Paul Ryan granny off the cliff ad to make their own point. My doctor has told me that this pacemaker will save my life. Oh, well, oopsie, careful, Mr. President. There is a cliff here. You know what? Maybe this isn't going to help. Maybe you're better off not having the surgery, but taking the painkiller. <gasps> but, Mr. President, we're not just talking about my pain. We're talking about my life. No, no, I need a pacemaker. Okay, we got Dr. Kristen Held, one of the docs behind that ad. Doctor, um, aren't you doing what they were doing? You know, Neil, what we're doing, and thank you, by the way, for having me. I feel very Good blessed to have the opportunity to be here. Um, we are advocating for our patients. When our patients have bad medicine, we've got to come out and stand up for them. And doctors were betrayed by the AMA. We do not have a voice anymore. So we have had to be living parallel lives, fighting parallel battles, and we're trying to get the voice out and educate our patients. No, about no, no, doctor, I admire what your, your position is. And by the way, your old woman is an actual older woman and not, you know, the late Harvey Korman addressed in a way to convince for that. And it's so far more realistic when she falls off the cliff. Having said that, yeah. um, Republicans criticized that granny ad for overly dramatizing what's really going on here. Mm -hmm. Can't they come back, that is, the Democrats at you and say, you are overly dramatizing what's going on here. In other words, it's like the Hatfields and the medical McCoys here. The two sides are never going to find a compromise to this. They're just going to be shouting nasty ads. You know, the thing that we really like about this ad is that we had to do something in this election, in the 2012 election, that would grab people's attention and wake them up and shake them up to the realities of this. And we had to have a rebuttal, and humor is a great way no, to do No, 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 I agree, but, but you hit something on the pacemaker thing. That's a, that is a very uh, powerful issue and one that is not addressed in this up here and, and does let Granny go on that. But would there have been a different way to say it or not? You know, I, I think what's really great is that this is a lead into the four-minute video where we actually show two things. One, we gave President Obama credit for his signature legislation and on the two-year anniversary. And yeah. number two, we catch Granny. We have the doctors. People have not asked the doctors. We're not Republicans or Democrats. We're doctors, and we treat people. And they can make all these laws and rules they want, but at the end of the day, we are there for the patient, and we want the patient to know what's in the law. Well, you know what I admire about this? I will say this, though, because at least in the other ad, uh, we, we kind of surmised it was Paul Ryan. Here you leave no mm -hmm. doubt it's the president. The jacket has the, you know, the, the commander in chief and signet, and of course, the voice, the actual voice of the president talking about healthcare. So you leave no doubt. To show you on that. Um, very good to have you, doctor. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. And it's in context. It's his words in context. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Well, very good. Uh, doctor, thank you. Or right, we've got some breaking news in the meantime for you. Uh, according to a congressional